For this next section, we're going to talk about what we call the mesenteries and the serous membranes. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, let's dive into this. So this is a sagittal section through the body showing all of the serous membranes, which include the mesenteries. So these, these membranes surround everything in the abdominal cavity, surround the abdominal cavity itself, surround all of the organs, and then hold everything in place. They also, especially the mesenteries, provide pathways for the blood vessels, the lymphatic vessels, and the nerves that are going to supply all of these organs in the abdominal cavity. Now, the next picture I'm going to show you is a cadaver, so you can see how much connective tissue there is. Well, this is what you see when you open up the abdominal cavity of a cadaver. So we've taken away the abdominal muscles. Here's the liver and the stomach. And the main thing you see is not the intestines, but the greater omentum, which is this thing that covers up the intestines. In order to see the intestines, you have to reflect or lift this thing up, and then you can see the small intestine, the large intestine wrapping around it, and the small intestine is all held together with this mesentery proper. So now let's go and meet all of these so we can get to know them a little better. Okay, the parietal peritoneum lines the inside of the body wall. So that's this orange layer here. And you can see that it goes all the way around the abdominal cavity, except for a couple of organs. Everything that's in this, that's abdominal is within this parietal peritoneum. There are a couple of things that are not. The visceral peritoneum is the layer that covers all of the organs. And then the space between those two layers is the peritoneal cavity. Now things that are outside of this parietal peritoneum are considered retroperitoneal. So the pancreas, also the kidneys, most of the duodenum, the um, part of the uh, large intestine, the rectum and the anus are all retroperitoneal, meaning they are outside of this epithelial layer. Now the mesenteries are these folds that uh, wrap around all of the structures of the GI tract and hold everything in place. There are several parts of this. The um, greater omentum is this part here, and that's that thing that's all covered with fat that obscures the view of the um, intestines when you first open the abdominal cavity. It often accumulates adipose, more adipose in some people than others. Um, so this is the greater omentum here. The lesser omentum is up here and connects the top of the stomach, the lesser curvature of the stomach, to the, um, to the liver. Okay, it holds the, the stomach in place to the liver there. And once we have reflected, or sorry, when we haven't reflected the greater omentum up, we can see just a little bit of the lesser omentum here, okay, attached to this top part of the stomach there, which is called the lesser curvature. Now the mesentery proper is all of this green stuff. That is the uh, tissue that is um, going to be filled with lots of blood vessels, nerves, and lymphatic vessels. And then the final thing is the mesocolon, which is this here. This is the transverse mesocolon, which holds the transverse colon to uh, the back side of the abdominal wall. It's actually not held to the front side. Isn't that odd? There's another mesocolon for the sigmoid colon on the left side of the abdomen. So when we lift the greater omentum up, lift up the transverse colon, we can see the transverse mesocolon here, and then all of this is the mesentery proper, holding the small intestine in place and providing passageway for all of the blood vessels going to and from, the lymphatic vessels coming from the uh, intestinal system, and the nerves. And then if we uh, pulled away the small intestine here, we would see the sigmoid mesocolon holding the sigmoid colon in place.
Now on our models, this is the only one where we can see uh, most of the mesenteries. So this is the greater omentum. They've put it on one side of the model, not on the other side. This is the small intestine and the large intestine. The mesentery proper is shown on the back. And you can't really see the blood vessels in it. That's the only thing I don't like about this model. But you can see that it's um, attached to the large intestine around the edges. If we could pick up these small, the small intestine, we would see that it's holding all of these pieces of small intestine in place. And then if we look at the top of this model, we can see the transverse mesocolon there. Okay, and that's the pancreas back there, just to keep you oriented. So that's the end of the mesenteries. Next up, we will learn the tunics, or the layers in the walls of all of the structures in the GI tract.